Hey everyone, welcome to TubeTape.com's virtual set tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to work with virtual sets, and we'll be using our newsroom virtual set to demonstrate. The basic green screen techniques still apply, but there are a few more things you need to think about when you're filming. So let's get started. When shooting for a virtual set, it is very important to plan out what shots you will need. To begin with, uh, we know our actor was going to be sitting at a desk, so we draped a green screen over a table in front of her. That way she can rest her arms on it or place an object on the table. When we bring that into our virtual set, it'll look like she's using the virtual desk in front of her. Also, our new set has multiple angles to choose from, so you need to know which angles you're going to use so you can film your actor appropriately. This first image faces directly at the camera, so that's fairly easy to shoot. Uh, just make sure you set the camera at the right height. You don't want to tilt the camera up or down. The second image is at about a 45 degree angle, so the camera needs to be set up the same way. You don't need to get it absolutely perfect, but get it as close as you can. Also, try to fill the frame with your actor. It's much better to scale your actor down to a smaller size to fit it in the virtual set than to increase the size. Our virtual sets also come with multiple layers. Uh, for example, in the new set, there's an image without the desk and an image of just the desk. So here we have a shot of an actor walking around. If we place her layer in between the desk layer and newsroom layer, it looks like she's walking behind the desk. You could create the same effect by masking the desk out, but using multiple layers makes things much easier. So those are the basics of using a virtual set. We used After Effects in this demonstration, but any effects or editing program that supports chroma keying and layers will work as well. Remember, as long as you plan out your shots ahead of time, virtual sets can be fun and easy to use.